When it comes to the center, rat holes are needed for hiding away from toxic players. So we proudly present Top 10 All-Time Best Rat Holes on the Center. This video is sponsored by my server's Deluxe. Deluxe is a 3x server with 5x metering and 3x experience. Deluxe has 6 man tribes, ORP, new player protection, raid warning, and so much more. Here at Deluxe, we ensure that you have an amazing experience with lag free servers. Servers are now live, link in the description. Now coming at number 10, this can be found at 66.3 latitude and 14.5 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found down on the side corner of the map, kind of on this wall. This wall honestly offers many different types of rat holes, so I would recommend co coming down here and just checking it out, looking for rat holes or bases. But anyways, this spot can be found on the side right here, on this little side entrance. Now yes, you're going to have to kind of fly in here, as there's really no way just to kind of walk into this spot. However, there's a nice little platform up here if you want to maybe build like a 2x2 or a 3x3 if you can fit one in here. So if you're a solo looking to hide away, this makes for a pretty decent spot. Coming at number 9, this can be found at 41.7 longitude and 87.3 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this spot can be found underwater. This underwater rat hole is pretty insane. So as you can see, yes, it is a bit of a bigger type entrance style. However, it still qualifies as a rat hole just based off of this whole layout. So anyways, once you come inside, you have the left or the right. On the left, it doesn't really lead you that far, but on the right, it goes very, very, very far back. Now, this spot is not the biggest, but it's very long. So I would recommend building kind of long ways, if that makes sense, so like horizontal wise, because it's a little bit hard to build up or down in here, but it makes for a great spot and you can have a ton of turret defense to help defend this spot. Coming at number 8, this can be found at 53.1 latitude and 47.0 longitude, and then here it is on the map. Now this can be found in over by jungles south I believe, and this spot can be found in the ruins. Now this spot's always been pretty popular on Ark, especially because it makes for an amazing base spot to live. But this spot offers a nice amount of room on the outside, so if you want to build some exterior turret towers or maybe a little turret wall or something, it makes good for that too. But as you can see, here is the entrance. What I recommend doing is putting maybe like a tech force field or like a tech bubble or just something up top just to basically cover that entrance, because that's the only way in. But anyways, once you're in here, it's not the biggest, it's pretty tight in here. So if you're fine with building a nice little compact base for you and your friend, it makes for a pretty amazing spot. On the inside, you have a decent amount of room. It's decently flat in some areas, but like I said, it is very, very tight. So this is really going to only work on, on official servers. Coming at number 7, this can be found at 41.1 latitude and 29.9 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found on the floating island. The floating island also offers a decent amount of rat holes. So for this one spot, make sure to go to these coordinates and you're going to want to go into the middle area where there's the, the, the big lake in the middle and you are going to want to come up here onto the ceiling. On the ceiling you'll find this nice little entrance. Now this rat hole is not the flattest but it's got a decent amount of room. So if we were looking to build with a few friends, like maybe three or four friends, this will make for an amazing spot as long as you know how to properly defend that entrance. Coming at number six, this can be found at 17.4 latitude and 41.5 longitude. And then here it is on the map. And this can be found underwater over by the lava island. Now this rat hole can be found right here. As you can see, there's a nice open entrance area. This is the entire rat hole. Now, it's not the biggest, and the rat hole is kind of an awkward one to get into. However, you are underwater, so building underwater is a completely different story. So, as you come up, it kind of opens up more into this nice, kind of smaller room, but this is the actual main rat hole part of it. So, it's a nice, good-sized spot, you have a little bit of flat area, but it makes for a pretty decent underwater spot. Coming at number 5, this can be found at 60.9 latitude and 25.5 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found over by the North Ice Cave, South Ice Cave I believe, not North. But 
This spot is located on the side of the kind of snow mountain. Now this rat hole is pretty close to that cave entrance, so yes, that is a bit of a downside of this place, but on the good side of it, you have a nice out kind of outside area to put a nice turret tower or a little turret wall or really whatever you want. And then on the inside, you have a good amount of room to fit a small tribe. It's pretty flat in here. It's really tall. So you can have up to maybe, I don't know, five or six layers of stuff in here. So makes for a pretty nice base spot to live in. Coming at number four, this can be found at 95.1 latitude and 60.7 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found on the side of the main mountain wall in the Redwoods area. Now this rat hole is very well known as it's a very popular spot, so if you're looking to build in here, I would recommend staying away if you're not big on wanting people to find you. However, this rat hole is a pretty good spot. You have to build some kind of cliff platform thing with some turrets on it to really keep people out, but raiding this spot is pretty hard to do for a lot of players. So as long as you build this right, you really won't have to worry about random people coming to attack you, only the bigger tribes. Now, inside of this place, you have a lot of layers that you can build on. I was able to build, I believe, five different layers whenever I lived in here, but all of that's built with cliff platforms, so it's a bit of an expensive build, but you have a lot more room in here than it looks like. So if you're looking to build in here, maybe as a solo duo or a trio tribe, it makes for an amazing spot and you don't have to worry about any cave damage. Coming at number three, this can be found at 24.7 latitude and 90.4 longitude, and here it is on the map. Now this can be found in the underwater bubble which is located off of Tropical Island North. Now this underwater bubble is not the rat hole, there is a rat hole in the underwater bubble. Now this underwater bubble actually offers a lot of nice benefits for living in here, like no rock golems are allowed to get in here, like you cannot physically get a rock golem in here, same with reapers, the only way to get a reaper in is to teleport it in here, and every single flyer, the second that they come in here, they float up to, up to the top. So. There are no flyers in here, no rock golems, a lot of other stuff cannot come in here at all, so it makes for an amazing spot. But up here is the rat hole. It's not that big, but this is a nice hiding area, and I guarantee you, people are definitely going to struggle to raid you up, up here, if, as long as you put the right amount of turrets, of course. However, this is 6x, so make sure to watch out for that. Coming at number 2, this can be found at 33.1 latitude and 58.7 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now the nuts can be found at Jungle Islands North, on the beach. Now yes, this rat hole is pretty close to a lot of spawns, so if you are looking to build here, it is a very risky one and I would highly recommend building on the outside and maybe involving a tech force field or something, because it is a risky spot to build in, as a lot of people do know this. However, if you decide to stay on building on the inside, it makes for an amazing rat hole as well. You have a tiny little crouch entrance, meaning nobody can bring any dinos in here, and you have a decent amount of room. So if you're a solo duo or maybe even a trio tribe looking to hide away, this makes for a good spot as long as you know what you're doing. Now coming at number 1, this can be found at 40.2 latitude and 31.1 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this is definitely by far my favorite rat hole on this map, just because it's been on here for so long and somehow has not been patched yet. Don't know why or how, but it's pretty insane. So, this rat hole can be found on the floating island, pretty close to the other one that was on the floating island. So if you come up here, you'll notice that, that there is a wall that literally leads to nowhere. Well, you're wrong. If you walk right up in here, and that's just to prove to you that I'm not in any kind of mode or anything, you can literally walk straight through the wall and get into this rat hole. Now, this rat hole is pretty overpowered for that reason, as people literally cannot see in, and you cannot see out. So it makes for a pretty decent rat hole, so if you're a solo or just a smaller tribe, this makes for a pretty good spot, as well as there's no cave damage or literally anything. And now after you enter into the first room, there's another area where you can enter into a second room. So if you thought it got any worse, it doesn't, it gets way better. And then there's also a third room, but it's a little tricky to get into, so I just kind of stay out of that room. But this is definitely one of the most overpowered rat holes on Ark. But anyways, that's it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you're new and hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.